All right, I found it. I, I think it's this uh, pipe right here that goes out for the dryer. I'm pretty sure it's that pipe because it's right on the edge. This hole outside right here around the, this is something wet. That's where it's coming from. And then it's just running over. You can see the stains where it's stick here and comes down to nothing. Right there. I think it's on the outside coming in. What's going on here? That's where it's wet on the outside of the wall right next to that pipe. And it goes out through. It's not leaking from up here. No water up here. It's dry, dry, dry. Dry, soaking wet right around this. Yeah, I'm coming out. Now move. Got nails just coming down through everywhere. Oh yeah, there is a couple of nail holes right there. Yeah. Like they put yeah, there's two nail holes right here. Looks like a staple or something, really small. I'm not sure what that would have been for. But all this is happening right over the top of that vent right there. At this point, I still don't know why it's leaking. But it is absolutely leaking. There's one nail spot where it's real bad over here. I just think it was coming through the nails. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's definitely got a roof right here. And it doesn't even show it when you look at the roof. Um, what we have in this situation is when they did this roof, they overdrove, overdrove the nails. Yes, sir. There, but where it started <clears throat> and where it's ending is we don't know. I have a feeling. As wet as it's getting down here, we're getting closer to the valley. Probably it's just wet because it looks like a recent wet. I'm just not sure why, but it's just soaking wet to the point. And uh, I can't come but so far before I run into this valley. Um, I'm going to have to put this back and call your insurance company because it's definitely more than a $200 job. Oh, look, look at here. Water coming out underneath the shingles right there. Yeah, so look at that water's coming out from underneath the shingles right here so this might be a lot more mess than what we know so maybe we should get the insurance involved get them out here to take a look at this thing and see if we can find out what's it's going on from over driven nails i mean they just almost drove all the way through the shingle if you take a nail and you drive it that deep into the shingle you ain't got no support right there i mean i can pull it up with my fingers that just shows you how deep they put these nails so deep Nothing holding that at all. This OSB is soaked and wet. I can put my fist through that. That's how bad that is. All right. Got a raft of here and a raft of there. I'm going to try to cut that much of it out and put this back. But I think you're going to have this problem going on throughout your roof. Look up underneath there. Even if I go further up, that's a, that's a damp spot. And that damp spot would be coming from that nail it was right above it overdriven so deep into the shingle even on the outside they drove them so deep so deep so far out so i'm gonna cut this part of it out and uh, put it back it looks like it's a pretty good section pretty good section 